I don't know why that was a keyboard. What's up collectors and pop culture fanatics? Uh, a little different on the channel today. We have Dominic's Dominion. Uh, we found this guy over at Fanboy Lance, really cool guy. Um, he hooked us up with some One Piece cards, some art stuff. You watched his handle, you saw some shorts on that. Uh, so we came in, we already got some stuff, just looking around. Um, I just wanted to show a shop off, really cool. It was in Maryville, Tennessee. Uh, 147 something something Maryville, Tennessee. So, let's check it out. Man, they're open. Oh, that means we can go in, gotcha. Close enough. <laughs> There's a guy, hey. shop owner. What are you doing? That's the fellow we told you about. <laughs> What's up? So all of these, all of these cards right here, kind of tons of individual packs, all the import stuff. Lots and lots and lots of cards. Some really neat stuff like this. With Anastasia cards. Spider-Man. Indiana Jones garbage bell kids. Some stuff up here in the case. Look at these things. <clears throat> Some graded cards. I was waiting on you to tell you know, me, because All the card needs, the sleeves, the top loaders, the hard cases to organize. Yeah, all kinds of accessories. Binders. We picked up uh, one of these binders to help organize the things that we had got. At, uh, all your one-piece cards. Yeah, all the things we got fanboy. And it keeps going. There's tons of figures, Hot Wheels, uh, Pop Funkos and puzzles and statues. I do like the welcome round and round. Come on, round. guys. <laughs> it's something I. This is this is literally like a convention setup where you have a bunch of uh, keychains and wallets. Let's and see it, here. It's really cool to see this stuff here because <clears throat> this is the kind of thing you have to wait for a convention. You can just come in here and pick out whatever your favorite different like, styles of wallets, anime stuff. or superhero or whatever you like. If you're into this, they've got it. <laughs> Hey. Yep, hey, see? The asking you shower receipt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. I just got that tattoo. Now, look at this. The last video. Hold on. Let's see if we can. Boom. You can kind of see it. Oh, it's looking good, yeah. 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 Very nice. So. Oh, actually, we haven't, you haven't given them the update. On this. Yeah. If you, if you notice, he is back in a sling yet Back again. In a sling. Yeah, so I've had the surgery six months ago. Uh, I fell on some concrete and fractured my clavicle right next to the surgery spot. So, yep. huh. so the next little bit of videos you guys will see is definitely going to be in a sling. Red Bull for those uh, late night gamers. <laughs> Saw, dude. Saw. What do you use for dead bodies? A saw, dude. <laughs> <laughs> these are cool. These are uh, these are the things that you collect. Whoa. Yep. Those are the silver ones that you make the Death Star with. Oh, it says full set. Two hundred bucks yep. for the for the entire. I've already got the full set. And the Death Star. Nice. Some uh, Mezco up here. Actually, I think you've got the full set because it's at your house right now. Uh, I didn't give it back. Maybe I can't remember. It may be in our storage. One of us has it. <laughs> Someone has it. It's somewhere, I'm sure. <clears throat> so, again, I know you're just showing the statues and yep. everything, but <clears throat> some model kits and all kinds of really cool stuff. And we're going to talk to uh, we're gonna talk Lance oh, about some. They also stuff. have uh, card games, game nuts, tournaments, that sort of thing. I don't know why that was a keyboard. That's what I was kind of wondering. I was like, I, I said card game. This isn't like... I, had, I was going for a dice roll. This isn't a video game cafe. Come on, bro. 
Guys, this place is really cool. So we're going to talk to Lance about what they do for uh, card nights, the events you guys hold. Phil, for actually, have a sit, sir. Have a sit. <laughs> I will. I'm right here. I'm just for you. Yeah. So, just a rundown of what you guys do. You have a table here. You got some Red Bull water in that corner. You hold card nights. What all do you guys have here? Uh, we do. We hold Star Wars as our big play at the moment, Star Wars Unlimited. We're playing every Tuesday and Saturday at 5 o'clock. Uh, it's all prize supported, so we get all the promos. We get all the merchandise, get everything cool that needs to come with it, so you can get all those foils here. Uh, we got open play on Friday nights where you can play whatever you want. Pack of Magic players, a bunch of younger kids play Pokemon. We got... We got a family shows up and play Boggle sometimes. Me and Tyler come in and play basketball sometimes. <laughs> sure, anytime you want. We'll put the the little barrel for the Pokeballs in the corner. Let yeah, you play. that'd be awesome. <clears throat> so, I'm sure people are curious as we show off the import cards. Mm -hmm. How are you able to get import cards all the way from what you say, Japan? Yeah, is that right? So. All of that comes because you know someone who knows someone who knew someone else. Um, <laughs> I went to high school with a buddy who, his dad was a big higher up in Denzo. So he had six months here, which is where Denzo is locally, six months in Japan. So now that he is a full grown adult, well, we like to say we're adults. He lives <laughs> in Japan. He walks into his friend's card shop. She's what they got. Ships me cases. And you said... <clears throat> Here you actually have, so you keep up to date with everything is mm -hmm. what I'm understanding from our talks before. So you have the brand new One Piece art sets on the way? Yeah, they're already on a, on a shipment on the way over. So if we ship things express through air, it's 17 to 25 days. Um, if we ship them by boat, which I never ship cardboard by boat... Uh, it's going to look at more like 30 to 45 days to get here. So stuff that hit the shelf two weeks ago got shipped out a week ago and is heading this way. Be here sometime towards the end of the month. Nice. How long have you had this place? Uh, this shop's been open since September. So brick and mortar wise, September. Dealing in collectibles, I think since birth. Um, I've, I've dealt <laughs> online in everything you can imagine every avenue of something that has value, I've peddled it. So I was curious, because I, like I said before, I, I'm <clears throat> getting more into One Piece. Mm -hmm. I got three of those boxes from you at Fanboy. Um, I'm curious, what is your biggest seller in the shop? Biggest seller in the shop is actually probably going to be the, the TCGs, and One Piece is a leader in that. Um, the American One Piece card game gets sold out about 12 minutes after it hits the shelf. Um, I'll put a post up on social media that it's here, and it's gone. Whoever can get here first is, is racing each other down the highway to sell it out. Um, whether that's a side effect of Bandai not printing too much or the game being that popular, yet to be seen. Outside of that, we have our constant crowd of Magic that have set purchases every week. They've been buying the same thing for a decade. The yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! players, Pokemon players come in every time a new set releases every three months. The The most popular thing is definitely going to be the, the One Piece art card statues. One Piece and Demon Slayer are taking off. The One Piece cards are beautiful. And you have so many different sets. I think in total we said 12, 12 different sets with more yeah. on the way that just came out. And... It feels like too much to collect, but that's never an issue. That's kind of the point. Um, yeah. <laughs> be, the more options I have, it becomes less of a conversation for the customer to go, do I need it versus which one do I need? Yeah, that's how we do with action figures, right? Yeah. yeah have you seen your room? <laughs> oh, I've seen my room. I don't, I don't like looking at my room anymore. So much. Um, so all we need now... Let's get whatever socials you have. Okay. And that way, hopefully, we can get some more activity on those pages. Sure, definitely. Um, so, we can do that. No problem. Everything is Dominic's Dominion. Okay. Uh, whatever social media platform you, you decide to choose. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Kickstart, Twitch, whatever you want. I think... I didn't know you had Kickstart. Uh, TikTok, I wasn't sure. I'll have mm -hmm. to get back on that one, but I do have 
pretty sure I added you guys on Instagram and Facebook. So, yeah, guys. Uh, super cool guy here. Definitely helped us out, get some stuff, and kind of got us more into something else, which You're is welcome. never a bad thing. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. So, this is how you spell Don. See, my, my brother's name is D-O-M-A-N-Y-K. Okay. So, correct spelling. Down at the bottom left. Website is currently under construction. Should be done sometime into the month. Okay. And there's the address if you guys are local. I know we've got uh, Caleb Miller out in Oak Ridge and other Caleb and wherever the hell that guy lives. He always just comes to the house. But, yeah, there's everything you guys need to know. Phone number, call him, ask him if he's got the recent stuff. Come in and get it.